Hi, I'm Sean Robinson with Panasonic. I work for the Lumix uh, Marketing Group, and uh, we're here with the GH5, uh, the recently announced camera here at CES. Um, some of the big things about the GH5 that uh, a lot of people have been very excited about are um, really a lot to do with its 4K video recording. So the GH5 is now capable of recording 4K 60p footage internally in 420 8-bit color, as well as now it can record 4K up to 30p, so 24 frame, 30 frame, in 422 10-bit color internally. Um, it is also capable of doing 4K 60p in 422 10-bit out over HDMI as well. Uh, that disables internal recording. Um, it's got a, a brand new, bigger, uh, bright rear screen. Uh, it's a 1.6K dot, 3.2-inch uh, um, RGBW screen. So it's going to be super bright, great for outdoor shooting, and very easy to see. It's got a 3.6 million dot OLED EVF now with a 0.76 magnification. So really big, really bright, uh, very color accurate. We've added uh, dual UHS-2 SD cards onto the GH5 as well. We've added a full-size HDMI port on the side, USB-C, headphone, microphone uh, inputs, uh, as well as the uh, in-body five-axis stabilization that can also work with what we call our dual IS-2 system. So if you're using an optically stabilized lens from us, from Panasonic, It'll work in tandem with the in-body stabilizer to give you up to five stop stabilization out to 280 millimeter field of view. So for run and gun shooters, handheld work, this, this camera will be super solid uh, and, and always deliver a nice smooth looking footage. Um, on top of it, like we said, we're able to shoot in, in a variety of different 4K uh, modes we can do Cine 4K, UHD 4K, we're able to do anamorphic 4K recording and then down the line through a firmware update uh, second half of this year we're going to add high resolution anamorphic shooting so it'll utilize the full sensor area to record uh, that, that resolution on it. Um, we've added also on, on the GH5 we've changed our focusing system a little bit. Uh, it still uses our DFD system however now the camera has 225 focus points that are selectable throughout the whole range. So you can get a lot more accurate grouping, uh, tracking areas with this camera. Um, the, for still shooters, a continuous burst can be 9 frames per second with continuous focus or 10 frames per second with a single locked focus point with a raw buffer of 100 frames and an almost unlimited JPEG buffer. Uh, it's got a 20 megapixel, uh, 20 megapixel 4 thirds sensor that as we can see here has the stabilization built in as it kind of moves around a bit. And the big thing with the sensor is that we've removed the low pass filter as well. So for still shooters you're going to get an incredibly sharp looking image, great high, high ISO performance, better color rendition, and, and just overall it's going to be a, a, a whole new look and honestly it's going to be the, the best of any imaging stills camera we've ever created in tandem with being one of the best uh, video tools in the market. Hi, um, I'm Parker with Panasonic, and here we have the GH5, which is our newest, most exciting model. Um, at this showcase station, we're demonstrating the 6K, so I'm going to go ahead and start the wheels in motion on the train and get some steam going. Once we see the steam start to rise, it can here we go here we go so once we get our steam I'm gonna go ahead and take the video shot we're getting two seconds what every second is 30 still frames so we're gonna get 60 still frames and then we get to go back and choose our favorite photo it's a high resolution 18 megapixel photo so as you can see here 
you can see our smoke moving, the wheels turning, and I like this shot right there. You can see the wheels in action, the smoke. I can go over here and actually pull out and save this image. We've added waveform also in the display. Full size HDMI port. Previous model had a micro port. Micro. Okay.